We have a two for one today. I am going to attack the last two mounts that I had in petto, my Dendrobium unicum and my Dendrobium polyanthum. I'm not expecting any drama. This should be pretty straightforward. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the polyanthum because those canes are super loose. Some have declined at the base. When I was trying to assess how to put it on the mount that I designated for it, yeah, one cane just fell off. So there could be a little bit of issues there. I'm not going to make a big fuss about it. I have a plan in mind. It should be pretty straightforward. So thank you for joining me while I switch the orchids that are left to go from an inorganic mount onto a cork mount. So as you can see, we had some collateral damage. Those were viable roots. I was not aware that they were still viable, but you know what? As this is a reset for my unicum, I'm not really fussed. So the new growth is, has not started growing new roots yet, but that's what we're going to be banking on. So I was wondering why I had such resistance getting through that hob filter material. So these are still viable. Let's see that we can at least preserve some and not be all ninja about it. Let's be kind. Let's be kind, you know. <laughs> okay, that's probably a bit too much for me here. I'm going to take off this bottom bit as well. concerned about this one up here. It may pop off. If it does, these two down here left and right, they are pretty tight. We'll have to watch that. Yeah, that could be an issue. We'll have to wait and see, but as far as I'm concerned, Unicum is done. While I put the tag on, would you give this video a like? That would really help out. I would appreciate that tremendously. Thank you so, so much. Anything along those lines, super important, supports the channel. And I would also appreciate it if you were to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Sometimes things happen that are a little unconventional here on the patio, but there is method to my madness. And if you're curious about it, subscribe. Successes, failures, surprises, everything gets revealed on this channel. <laughs> Let's go hang her up and get polyanthum. This would be two out of two. Polyanthum has had some issues over the winter. It was getting far too waterlogged. I don't mind the moss pillow if that's what it wants to do, but for some reason there wasn't enough aeration, the cold temperatures, all this was a little bit too encroaching, I would say. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like these canes have a weird habit of declining at the base. You see, even this one right here, this one's nowhere near the pillow of moss. And you can see it's desiccated right at the base. It is, in actual fact, a keiki that has grown a keiki, and even the keiki base has desiccated. So it's a strange one, and I'm thinking it is possible that the polyanthem propagates itself by dropping canes, because when I took this orchid off this morning to assess what I'm going to do, a cane just fell. And it's a perfectly fine cane. It just seemed to just boom, and it was on the floor. So. At the beginning, I thought I'm going to be taking it apart rather radically and then mounting different pieces of it. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the opposite. I will have root collateral damage, but I have lots and lots of new growths that will also produce lots and lots of new roots. They will get into the moss absolutely fine. 
So all I'm going to do is cut out the majority of the grating and then we are going to mount her. So pretty much a repeat of what was before. And then I will explain to you why I chose the piece of mount that I chose specifically for this orchid. Now, I know that looked radical, but I've got so many growths coming. This orchid is going to be absolutely fine with what she's got left. I have full confidence that chopping the roots off is not the problem here for us. We can get rid of some of the strands though. So of course, in my super dry climate, I am absolutely leaving that hob filter material on. And all these roots in the back here, they're just water catchers, let's just say not a problem during the summer because it's nice and warm and dry air but during the winter this could be an issue super interesting this orchid these canes are like a succulent cane they would break relatively easily making sure my growths are coming out nicely because sometimes what this orchid will also do if it's not hydrated properly the leaves won't open we're seeing an early sign of it happening here it just forms a tube. So maybe we can just nick that so that the growth can develop normally. Like that. Okay, note to self, more water. Let's see if that leaf survives. And if not, Hakuna Matata. I'm gonna show you the mount. So after long considerations, I was looking at my polyanthem. Thankfully, I had enough time to assess it properly. I took the cork that I had left and I just snapped a piece off at the ridge that was the weakest right along this line. It was just a deep canyon. And I like the empty space down here. There's a lot of aeration down there. It won't be as waterlogged. So if I can just show you theoretically before I actually do it, the orchid is going to go up here, <clears throat> up here, there we go, right at the top, allowing the base to have all this empty space in the crevices as airflow. And what I'm thinking is one simple piece of wire is going to do the job for us. That is the theory. Let's go to the practical side and see if that turns out as planned. As much as I love having you so close to me, I need to get really close to this orchid to do this right. That was not going to work, not the angle, not the distance, me and the orchid. So we're gonna do this again. We're gonna keep that aeration space down there. If more canes pop off and I can get them to root, I will be able to pin them in this area right here. Either pin them or glue them on, something along those lines. So I'm just gonna go through the middle of my previous, what I have left mount find a ridge so that the wire can really grab onto that because believe it or not this might be a tiny looking orchid but she's heavy i would rather not pop off any canes at this point in time that's for sure and i don't want to snap any either like i said the texture of these canes they are extremely succulent super easy to break pushing the wire in up against the shape of the mount. I have a really bad angle while I'm twisting the wire, so it's gonna look really messy. But there's no point in doing a video if you can't see what I'm trying to achieve here. It's not normally how I like to leave my mounts, but 
at least you saw what I was doing. And it's in the back, so I won't be seeing it that much. Now I just want to squeeze the wires in a little bit further, left and right. But this orchid is now solid. Yes, she is on there tight. It's good. I'm so happy that plan worked out. I'm happy that she's done, and I will be even happier if everything works out, even with the piece, the mount itself, according to what I was planning, so that we don't get any more rot issues. And we still have space to pin canes on right there. That'll work for me for now. Before I hang her up, I want to show you a better visual of the base of the canes. Seems to happen naturally. I suppose that I could take that right off now, pin it to the side, but I'm not going to. I'm going to watch and see what happens. That wasn't part of the game plan. It's just a thought that occurred to me just now, but I'm not going to do that. We can always follow up and see what goes on, but the cakey itself was never close to the moss. Here's the collateral damage on the roots that I cut. There were some live ones in there. Some may have reactivated. Ah, it's going to be just fine. Always a shame to cut off roots, but that would have taken me probably three days to unfandangle. <laughs> Dendrobium row is complete, with one exception, my Dendrobium exile. And I did say I was not going to mount that one on cork. I'm having second thoughts though, because I have a beautiful piece for this orchid that would work really well for the exile. And well, her root growth is expanding. She's growing two new growths. I may actually resort to putting her on cork and then the dendrobium row is complete. Very pleased that we got this done. Very concerned about that mount of the unicum popping off from its nail. Anyway, for the time being, that is it. It is all under observation from here on in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. That would be awesome. I appreciate your support. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.